Hello YouTube. How are you? I watched this video some time ago and I thought it was really important for all of you to watch it. So here it is. Feminism and Nazism. Anti-feminists insist that feminism and Nazism are very similar. There is good reason for this. The Nazis were around well before the heavy-duty violence and the gas chambers, and for quite some time they operated in a manner that paralleled in many ways the more recent activities of feminists. Feminist and Nazi ideology have a lot in common. Some might say that making this comparison trivializes the terrible experiences of the Jews in Germany in the 1930s. But making this comparison does not do this at all. It brings the attention to the people, the kind of forces that gave rise to Nazism, and as far as men are concerned, it makes them understand a little better the horribleness of discrimination and demonization. Furthermore, most Jewish groups do not actually highlight the Holocaust in order to gain everybody's sympathy. They do it so that people can simply learn. They do it so that people can see if something heinous is creeping up on us. Here are 30 similarities between feminism and early Nazism. 1. Both have discriminated against individuals on the basis of their genetic code. 2. Both have promoted the view that the targeted group was inferior genetically and behaviorally. 3. Both have promoted propaganda that led to the targeted group being labeled as parasites. 4. Both have promoted propaganda that led to the targeted group being constantly ridiculed. 5. Both have promoted propaganda that led to the targeted group being laughed at even when mutilated. 6. Both have demonized the targeted group by labeling them as perverts and sexual criminals. 7. Both have sought to break the targeted group away from their families. 8. Both have promoted the view that the targeted group was responsible for most of the major ills in society. 9. Both have disseminated lies and disinformation about the targeted group in order to further promote their own ideology. 10. Both have disseminated lies and disinformation about historical matters. 11. Both have used intimidation, threats, and coercion to prevent their opponents from speaking out. 12. Both have promoted the lie that the privileged group consisted of innocent victims of the targeted group. 13. Both have demanded special privileges in the workplace for members of the privileged group. 14. Both have discriminated against the targeted group in educational matters and in the workplace. 15. Both have perverted the justice system so that members of the targeted group were easily discriminated against in the law. 16. Both have arranged matters so that the accusers from the privileged group could be shielded by anonymity in the courtroom. 17. Both have arranged matters so that the defendants from the targeted group had to prove their innocence. 18. Both have arranged matters so that the members of the privileged group could capriciously define what legally was to be deemed a crime. 19. Both have arranged matters so that the members of the privileged group could capriciously define how the law was to view certain matters. 20. Both arranged matters so that the law punished members of the targeted group more severely than members of the privileged group. 21. Both have arranged matters so that members of the targeted group were made responsible for the choices and behaviors of members of the privileged group. 22. Both arranged matters so that the members of the privileged group who harmed or even murdered members of the targeted group were shown undue leniency. 23. Both arranged matters so that the law punished members of the targeted group severely for even trivial offenses. 24. 
Both have arranged matters so that members of the privileged group earned a right to the property of members of the targeted group for no other reason than that they were members of the privileged group. 25. Both arranged matters so that certain speech or attitudes directed against the privileged group were criminalized. 26. Both have demanded subservience to the prevailing ideology and to the government. 27. Both effectively controlled the mainstream media and the academic institutions and arranged for them to present a dishonest and dishonorable point of view in support of their ideology. 28. Both have consistently highlighted and exaggerated the achievements and the suffering of the privileged group while downplaying the achievements and the suffering of the targeted group. 29. Both have run government-funded educational courses in universities and in schools to promote the privileged group at the expense of the targeted group. 30. Both have persisted in a long-term campaign of hatred toward the targeted group. minus the heavy violence and the gas chambers, which came towards the end of the Nazis' hold on power, feminism and early Nazism are very similar. <laughs>